Hello and welcome to the Apostate Coalition. The Apostate Coalition is a collaborative channel bringing you news, entertainment, discussions about cults and the people who escape them and uh, stuff like that. <laughs> so just the other day, uh, there was a panel discussion that was done as a live and Ryan uh, from Ryan Cultastic was kind enough to host that so that we could get a wider audience. And I'm bringing you some choice cuts of said video, which rounded out at about two hours and 20-ish minutes. Um, so I'm bringing you some more bite-sized pieces. Uh, and if you would like to see the entire discussion, please go to Ryan Cultastic to that her channel, and uh, you can see that there, the, the uncut uh, VOD. Okay, so with that said, here we go. Catch you on the flip side. Hello there, my beautiful friends. Tonight I am surrounded by some wonderful people in the community that I have thankfully been able to meet. And we're going to discuss the PR nightmare the Jehovah's Witness organization is in, along with the continuous leaks from inside of the organization and etc. Who knows what else we will talk about. But first, I'd like to say welcome you all. Thank you for being here. Yay. Hi. Thanks for having us. I'm excited. Yeah. I, I am excited, too, to get some insight on what you guys think is happening. And if you wouldn't mind, uh, Ron, would you start out by just introducing or saying who you are as much as you feel comfortable <laughs> introducing yourself? I'm Ron. Hi, Ron. The government is true to character. True to character. Yeah, I love I it. I had to. No, I am. I go by Ron Pimo on Instagram and Twitter and uh, Reddit, and I like to be a thorn in the side of Watchtower. Damn right. Oh. I love it. I love that. I'm all for being a thorn in the Watchtower side. Uh, Dr. Time Waster, how about you, please? Um, and thank you. Yes, I am Dr. Time Waster. Um, I am ex Jehovah's Witness, born and raised. Uh, and I also love to be a thorn in this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's not really my true goal. Um, I think my true goal is just to be just to find what the truth really means. Um, I think that's really my true goal. And so I just like to ask questions. And uh, honestly, I, that's that's it. I just want to understand what's going on. So that's what I'm really here I love for. That. If I can help anyone understand things, if we can under, uncover things, that's what I'm here for. Yep. After years of being told what the truth is, now that we're able to do our own research, it's nice to know what what we want to know. That's our desire is to know what the real truth is that's going on. Um, Jason, would you mind giving us a little howdy doody, if you will? Howdy doody. It's Fog Baby Studios. Uh, Jason Alexander, mostly on TikTok. Should be more on Instagram. But um, I do art and my, my goal, my goal for what y'all see is usually to make sure that everybody knows that like whatever piece of the watchtower I can drag out to show you what it looks like, I'm going to do it. Like they, they've Fair taken truth. enough of my time that I'm, I'm going to make sure that I see, I see what the end looks like and it's kind of fun, but it's kind of scary at the same time. So it's you kind of measure the winds because you, they're not good losers. <laughs> Yeah, yeah and that, that's a really, that's a very good point. Um, they're not primed to lose, um, no. although they, they're able to spin it, you know, to yep. make themselves look like the victim. But, I mean, this could be a huge, whatever's coming around the bend could be really huge for them. They've already taken some really big losses right. um, in the media against the organization, etc. I'm sure most of the people in the audience have an idea of, 
what's been going on. But tonight, specifically, we're hoping to get into this um, department that they have. It seems like they're doing some really big rearranging. I guess this uh, this department's uh, been around for four years, if I've got yeah, that much it's correct. Like 20, 2019. That's like that's about yes. what I've seen, like early twenty nineteen. Okay, good. So yeah, they're about four years old now, but and that was but the, the shift in the department because it used to be called Public Information Desk. Desk, exactly. And they brought in okay. Robert Hendricks around twenty nineteen and developed the department yeah he's got I a see. corporate eye that that robert Hendricks. like he's he's changing things like this is the the next age of of the watchtower like definitely oh here is kaya hi kai kai it's, kai. yeah hi thank i'm sorry kai it's thank okay. you for joining us i apologize i did not see you back there hope you weren't waiting too long it's okay. um if you wouldn't mind just giving us a little introduction, you, I don't know if you're a newer face, you're kind of a newer face to me. I found you recently and I just fell in love with your video. So I'm oh. really glad <laughs> you could be here with us tonight. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So I have a YouTube channel, just my name, Kai Natalia. I've been making, I've been making content for a while, but I just started making XJW content like a couple months ago. So, yeah, it's been really fun just getting to meet everyone. And, yeah, I really appreciate you guys having yeah. me on. <laughs> Absolutely. Welcome. Yeah, it's always good to see more people. I say it all the time. It's good oh, to yeah. see more people raising awareness to what is happening because you never know who you're going to reach. Like, at the everyday people that know you, like, like, oh, my goodness, I didn't know that was a cult. So, yeah, welcome. Seriously. We're glad to have you. So anyway, this department been around since 2019, as much as I've seen of, of this video and all the information that's been released, it seems like it has, it has been changing continuously. That is one thing that I noticed that it's not, whatever they're doing, it's continuously being reformatted for whatever reason. They don't know, they don't know what to do. Like they... <laughs> They're Oops. pretty much like as an organization that is in control of as, as much money as they are, they are like putting forth the same effort that I am to like figure out how to catch on to an algorithm. Like they really tried it and I didn't, yeah. I didn't know, but they really tried it with the World Cup. Like this was the this is what the thing that I noticed first. that headline. Yeah, it was like, they put an article about the World Cup on JW.org. Like what the they said, let me see how many hits. Yeah, exactly. And then I found a TikTok that was um somebody getting a trophy in the World Cup and it was tagged viral um and Jehovah's Witnesses in Spanish. And that was the only two tags on the video. Like mm -hmm. they're really just like trying to throw fillers out, and so see what bites. See what's yeah. Dead. Okay, yep. can I say one more thing, y'all? I just gotta say this real quick. You can I'm you sorry, can say two right? more things. This is, this is all. I, this is all I want to say for right now, and then I'm just gonna be quiet. But if anybody is watching this that is not affiliated with the Jehovah's Witnesses, that just are like looking for another perspective on it. Jehovah's Witnesses are going to believe this public information department. They're, this is this is their ace in the hole. Like I, I don't doubt that I would have believed it. My mom believes it. Any of my siblings who are still witnesses believe it. Mm -hmm. But you have to understand, it's not good. So please, like, dig. Like, if you see what the Jehovah's Witnesses put out in a news story. I I would almost say that some of it is a lie. I don't really think they would ever speak 100% the truth to anybody who's not trying to hide a secret with them. So it's not always what they say and you have you have to ask more questions. Like I really have been oh, yeah. like doing my best to keep this story in Colorado or now both of these stories in Colorado out in front because it's really sad it's really tough and it's really tough that the witnesses would rather like throw that stuff out when 
this sounds like somebody, I mean, it, it sounds terrible, but it does sound like somebody who was in crisis, but they would rather talk about that, even if it gives them a black eye about the disfellowshipping thing, than to talk about this elder who molested kids over six decades, two hours away from where this happened. They don't want to, that's the things that they don't want to talk about because that's what they're made out of. Like they're right. So, okay. I'm sorry. You're right. Though No, you're right. They, they will, they will take the worst of it and know how to manipulate it to yes. be the best of the work. I get exactly what it's you're the trying manipulation to say. Department. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The PID is the ma manipulation department. It's propaganda. There. It's yeah. all just propaganda to, to battle the bad PR, they're going to try to combat it with good PR, just like yep. we've seen with these little slots. They just search it, just search his name in, in YouTube, and all these little news media spots come up, man. And they're just such baloney interviews. <laughs> Did y'all notice on the, on the video all that guy could like show was articles about them opening meetings back up? Like, that's the only good wow. news that they have to report. And they wow. posted it like seven times in that in that video, like as yeah. a collage. I'm like, yo, we get it. Like you guys are one kingdom hall, so you're doing the same thing. It doesn't need to be in 90 news cycles trying to hide whatever else. Yeah, but that's what they're going to cling on to just to yep. deviate from the bad stuff that's going on. Yep. So I'm guessing that this entire... This is what I took away from it. And I'm hoping maybe Ron if, or, you know, whoever has more inside information can correct me and can come forward and say whatever. But it just seems like this entire department is its whole focus is is how to get media clicks. Yeah. Get get more likes, get yep. more involvement from yep. not us, I guess. Right. <laughs> Make yeah, more witnesses. It's strange. It's hard to exactly nail down what their goal is, but the the biggest shift that happened in the last four years is a proactive media approach. Right. Instead of a public information desk where reporters call in for a comment from Jehovah's Witnesses on some notorious story out there in the country or in the world, this is a department now that tries to get positive news st stories yeah. made about Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. Yeah. They're doing media rollouts. Yeah. yeah, and they have an army of Jehovah's Witness volunteers around the country and around the world writing... Over 100, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's hard to figure out the numbers of how many different regions they have. Um, I think it was maybe 11 in the United States, but I could be wrong. Um, but it's a lot of people involved. Um, yeah. I personally have seen at least a dozen connections of people in the Northwest uh, of, of like connections I've made on Twitter with people. Um, so there's a lot, there's a lot everywhere. Um, but yeah, it's a proactive, let's get positive news stories out there. Um, and uh, it's sure interesting to see. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty, pretty wild times. Ryan, I think we might've lost your audio. That's because I muted myself because I took a little <laughs> sippy. <laughs> Oop, oopies, I took a sippy. I was just, oh, hold on. I'm going to share something just very quickly if I can figure out what I am doing. So I, I just wanted to bring that um, slide up. That was one of the slides Get this that clown I out of here. took. <laughs> Do not like. Um <laughs> But yeah, I, I just wanted to hone in on the fact that you mentioned that this department is comprised of volunteers, correct? Yeah. Okay. So these these people, any talent that they do have, instead of it serving them to uh, to generate money, you know, income so they can retire at some point, mm -hmm. they're helping to generate good PR for this this. <laughs> Yeah. Church. Yeah. And in fact, a lot, of, a lot of people who are recruited into this department, they are looking for witnesses who have connections yeah. to news, journalism, media uh, in their career. 
And if they do, they want to use those people to help push the propaganda. So, yeah, it's all volunteers as far as I can tell. And uh, it can mm. take a few hours a week or it could take a lot of time, depending on on how much they want to put into it. So yeah. yeah, but wouldn't you rather do this than be on the quick bill committee? Like to be a well, that's JW the thing. TikToker? Yeah. Right. And, and, and that's this. status. What were you saying? What do you like, mean? What is this? Who is this? Who's the target audience? Who made Great this? Great question. And... I was just talking <laughs> with someone about that. Yeah. I I have a couple opinions, um, or just ramblings. Um, okay. What is their goal? Yeah, who is their target audience? Because from what I have seen, overwhelmingly, if a story gets published, a big story on like a, a notable a news outlet, let's say the AP or NPR picks it up and they have a comment section, overwhelmingly the comments on it are irritated about Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> there's ex-witnesses commenting on it and there's witnesses defending themselves saying we're not a cult, but there's a lot of people saying quit coming to my door on Saturday morning. But then the other target audience I think is Jehovah's Witnesses. They see these yeah. puff pieces put into their Mm -hmm. um, a regional newspaper their, mm -hmm. or their nickel saver weekend brag and they say oh look at this amazing story that was put out there about us they're telling the great news about Jehovah's Witnesses but these witnesses who share this stuff on social media with each other and in their family groups they don't realize this is all made by Jehovah's Witnesses this is all made by Watchtower and published by them I mean, that fits the right. bill for what people are doing on Facebook and social media everywhere is they share things they don't that aren't true, that are propaganda mm -hmm. of some kind. People don't vet that kind of information and it's clickbait and we get excited and we share it. I've probably been victim of that as well. I'm yeah. sure I've, I've shared done it. my fair share of fake news, right? I, sh I got my, my butt handed to me by somebody and I was like, I'm sorry. I can admit I was wrong. I shared something I didn't research. Okay. I take right. it back. Sorry. And part of yeah. that is just because we're human, right? Like we 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 want good things to happen to people. We get upset when bad things happen, and when people take advantage of that, they're using us to send their message, whether it's clickbait so that they can get clicks and get money, or whether it's an organization who started off as a religion turned into a corporation, and now I don't even know who this is supposed to be meant for, but that looked like a we might be rearranging the department and moving people around and then oh yeah pray to god like this is what this is weird like it's just bizarre i'm sorry no I it's, it, the no, whole the no, whole no. thing is yeah. weird everything that they do is is for gain for monetary gain um like you like was it um ron was it you who were saying like they do things possibly for the impact of Jehovah's Witnesses themselves, just so they can say like, oh, wow, look how we're portrayed in the media. And I thought it was really interesting how, um, for instance, this slide here um, about the impact of conventions. So they're really going to focus on trying to get like the news out there with them, but to make sure they have the right people to answer questions. If the news is out there at, you know, asking questions of people like it, they just want to make a show of themselves. And I do not understand it because again, that is just so anti what they used to be. Like you were never to make a show of anything and that's, they're so right. showy. So as a Jehovah's witness, like if you can put your Jehovah's witness hat on for a second, sorry, but you have this belief. I don't have a hat. That you have this belief that you're squeaky clean. You you believe that you're like you have one up on everybody because you're highly moral. There it is, exactly. <laughs> so don't forget to turn in your time. It's almost the first. No. Yeah. So um, like eighty hours, right? <laughs> right. But at the same time, we all there's always something sneaky going on. It might be something small, but you all there's something that we all do or we all did that was not on brand. Like, because everybody has to have that outlet. I believe that everybody did. But we all surf the internet. Like, and as much as they say, like, stick to this, you don't. But so now how they combat it is by doing the things 
that kind of feed that sneaky side of you. But now it's like, oh, now that Jehovah's Witnesses are in my mainstream social media, the more the more these stories come out. Like, remember a few over the summer, those Robert Hendricks like news things that he was doing all over the place. And they got yeah, all that's what over I'm... YouTube. So yeah, I feel like this was like the baby steps of that. Like that was like the precursor. seeing how it worked. It got it got our attention. And if it gets exactly. our attention and it gets us talking. They have to be a little bit louder, but they 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 haven't been able to compete with a thousand million tiny voices of us. Exactly, and right, so which is what, now what they're now doing. they're trying to to get on our level, but they really can't win without exposing themselves. Mm -hmm. And but it do, it only matters to us, unfortunately, until something bad happens. It only matters what they do to us until like something really newsworthy happens. And that's that's kind of the goal to avoid, right? Like, should we should we share that little clip? Because that kind of specifically ties into exactly what you're saying, Jason, that you know, a lot of us, like we sometimes don't think that we amount to anything. I, I'm like freaking broken record, but we really do. Like we make impact. Right. It really freaking matters because you just get like one video that gets sent to the right person. You just don't know. Um, so we have a, a clip where, and you all may have seen it. Um, Ron, if you're cool, if I share that clip that you said about the apostates and, you know, how they're doing this media coverage to, to try to push our media, you know, more down to the bottom and there's up to the top. Yeah, yeah. So this clip was from a few months ago, I think back in June or September. And okay. uh, they are very proud of everything they get published. And they track it. And uh, so you'll see, I mean, th they keep a database of like every published media hit they get. That's what they, media hits means published stories, whether that's Hendrix on a YouTube channel, a radio station, or a puff piece in a local newspaper. So you'll see this map um, and then, uh, yeah, some interesting information about tracking their puff stories and uh, how big of an impact it's having for them. Okay. How many, so how many, how many news stories have talked about how close, how we are at the precipice of the the great mutilation of planet Earth? And they, don't, we get? they don't witness JW doctrine in these puff pieces. I knew no, you exactly. This is all. This is all the the most. Tell the truth. Banana, plain cream, vanilla. Tell the truth. No nope, pudding. That's not who they are. Yeah. Nope. All right. So let's show this clip and show their true incentive. Why they're if they're why they're doing all this. Okay. Here we go. I think. Hopefully. Tell me if the sound works. My blue square totally looks better than theirs. By the way, also. <laughs> <laughs> There was beautiful work that was accomplished during yeah. that return to in-person meetings and in-person memorial. It was remarkable what you brothers and sisters were able to accomplish and how Jehovah blessed our work beyond compare. Here's a little chart that will help us. Just in a, a very small amount of time, we were able to shift gears very quickly. And from March the 25th through May the 5th, we had 1,058 total media hits. In fact, when you look on this chart on 330, this was the day before we went back to the meetings on Saturday and Sunday, we had over 40 hits just that day alone. And then it was remarkable, as you look at our overall view of our map, these little dots represent all of these <laughs> hits. Worst cell phone coverage ever. The structure was in place and it adjusted very quickly and it was able to handle the workload Cancel. that was thrown at you, dear brothers and sisters. These dots represent all of the different media hits all over the United States. And you can see wonderful coverage, north to south, wonderful east coverage. to west. The metropolitan areas did magnificent, but also look at these rural areas. New phone, who dis? be commended for that. <laughs> As we do a little flyover of our map, You'll see California, great success. But also in Hawaii, we were on an NBC news affiliate. 1.5 million viewers saw that program. It was outstanding. You brothers and sisters working in Alaska, kudos to you. You were oh, able to crack four, into that four, market and find great success. 
<laughs> and all of you dear brothers and sisters in the supervised lands, we were so excited to see how Jehovah had really blessed your work in every way. And then here was the beauty of it. Here's the key. Oh Not God. only did we have the return to meetings, but then that spilled right over into our memorial. And it was an even split really between the two. But that meant that we were in the news cycle for some 20, 25 days easy. All of the apostate stuff pushed to the bottom. All of the beautiful truths pushed to the top. Mm. These are just pushed some the of the covers of, exactly? of different news articles. Google just News. again representing the work of you hard uh, working brothers and sisters. We thank you for that. That really is a thing of beauty. <sighs> okay. Yeah. A thing of lies. My microphone for the rest of this episode, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that, that video in particular had to be for Jehovah's Witnesses because that made absolutely, it that made less sense really to hear impressive. him say it. That graph was like, I was like, what the hell is that? What is social what is media that representing? Oh, we're number one in like social media. Like trending on Twitter? Is this what yeah. you're talking about? Yeah. Or? They play, they play like we had 48 paper. hits in one day. Like, okay, yeah. bro, like we're getting 37 hits just right now watching this. Like, I'm not sure what to tell you. You're doing <laughs> something wrong. It's like a it's like a monster in a human suit. Like and it, but they didn't even get a human suit. They got like a, a Easter bunny costume. And they oh, are man. they're struggling, man. And they, Their intention really is struggling. to push our content because we we are who they are battling. Like y'all need to hear this. Like that is so important no. that you realize like we are who they are battling. And that's pretty impressive to me okay, because but- I want to comment on that because yeah, yeah. <clears throat> let's dissect what they mean by apostate stuff pushed to the bottom. Yeah. I yeah, want to know more about that. Yes. Yes. Apostates, okay. I'm here for this. For the most part, it's pretty rare when an actual XJW apostate gets a journalist to pick up their story and put them on TV or get them in the newspaper or online article. What apostate stories means to Jehovah's Witnesses or to Watchtower is factual negative news stories, child sexual abuse scandals, um, shootings. That one's incredibly rare and very unfortunate, but domestic abuse things, anything negative about Jehovah's Witnesses. What's going on right now a lot is um, uh, coercive control. For children in religion mm, is a big yes. topic right now. It's picking up around the world. So to Jehovah's Witnesses, to Watchtower, anything negative equals apostate. It can be a 100% factual, tragic story about a child who was abused by a predator, but that child is an apostate. That victim is an apostate for speaking out and getting the story out there. And the yeah. perpetrator is usually another witness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, that seems to be the case. I mean, pattern, a pattern is a pattern. Yeah, I think they um, also have a track record of counting the hits and not the misses. So I think this would also be a really good example of it because they're just going to count their hits that they've already tallied. They literally Mm -hmm. are counting their hits. And then Mm -hmm. they're going to just redefine what a miss is. Especially they, if it needs to help them look good. Yep. So well, if well said. Did something in the news, they are a former witness. So we've yep. just redefined who that person is. As we've soon taken as that person does something that's not witness like. Right. Exactly. Right. No, I think that's a, a great point to be made. That immediately, like, that was the first thing that I my eye was drawn to. That they were called former, and I was just floored. Because, welcome back, because we know, like, no, 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 not at all. Because we know that, at least in my opinion, you're never really former when you've no. spent years inside the call. Like, how do you, like, I'm always going to be dissecting this from my mechanisms in my brain, if you know what I mean. I have to. It's, it's what I'm made out of. So I never got a chance to understand the world or myself. So Mm-mm. I'm I'm going to pull this apart. Yep. This, exactly. I'm not the only I'm not the only one and I'm not the worst story. And, and right. it's pretty rough. 
So right. if it's not just me, it needs to be dissected. And now it's happening. Like it's falling out now. Like it's falling right. apart. So it's 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 showing what it is showing what it is, like very publicly now. Which is I mean, who else would need a specific department to redirect like sources and stories and, and whatnot. You know what I mean? Like that just seems like way Mormon. too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like no, it I, seems. I, I think there's, I think there's a reckoning happening with not nope. just Jehovah's Witnesses, but other high control groups like Mormons. Of mm -hmm. course, their Southern yeah. Conference, all of that. I agree. Mm -hmm. They're, yeah. I think they're all their feet are being held to the fire. They're, Unfortunately, they just have a lot of resources and they're organized, which we aren't necessarily as much so. Um, but things like this will help. We'll, we'll eventually get our ish together. I mean, this is all new for me. And I think it's most certainly new for most of us. Um, Absolutely. I mean, I'll, I'll, I, will, I will never do this Pimo. as long. So. <laughs> yeah. I'll never do this as long as I was a Jehovah's Witness. In real life, like mm -hmm. I'll never do what I'm doing now as long as I was a Jehovah's Witness. So they they got they got that part. So mm -hmm. it's their fault. Now, they yep. created me. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's our generation. Like we were the hellfire and brimstone generation of being Jehovah's Witnesses. Mm -hmm. It was always scary. It was always tense. It was always mm -hmm. the hardest parts. Like, it's easy. Like, what it looks like to be a witness now is very different than, than what it was when I was a witness. So we got out, and we're their worst nightmare. And it shows because they had to create a whole media team to refute the stories because we were telling the truth about mm -hmm. what was going on in the organization. We yeah. were researching their books better. We were pulling up. We I'm able to de I'm able to deprogram from the organization using only watch only current Watchtower publications. I, I like yeah, they did it to themselves. That's where I grew Absolutely. up. But it's not it's not hard to to explain to somebody who's not in it that it's wrong. It's very hard to explain to somebody who's in it that it's wrong because they do personal study but they don't do they don't do personal study because if, if you if, if you're doing it with their their books it's not it personal study exactly. yeah if you're doing it on their on their rhythm there's a reason for that there there's not it's not a it's not an unintelligent effort whoever is like pulling the strings is not stupid like there's there's not you're not in a cult because you're not a smart person you're in a cult because they're good at what they do and so this is this is the example they they are going to build a tiny cult out of a cult for whatever the next phase is because a lot of people are going to see through this and some people are going to like really dig in because of it could you imagine if there was another split? That would be yeah. wild if there was like a split. Like they, ha I mean, they it happened in the '30s or whenever that was. It's I mean, us. it's happening right now. We're the we're the other <laughs> like we we say all the same things that they do. We reference all the same material that they do. We're not lying about the other parts. Yeah. So. Um, Sorry, I, was go, gonna, go, go. I have hope. No, go ahead. We will see someone whose face has appeared on JW Broadcasting one day. Yes. One day. Yes. I Somebody's I have a feeling. Yeah. Right. And I th I think that who like whoever is doing it like they they're obviously I would think probably as much as they can are paying attention to the things we're saying. So if. If anybody happens along this and you're the one who's doing that heavy lift and I, I Thank just got to, I just don't even know what to say to you. My heart just goes out to you because it's such a, a heavy burden, but you're doing the work. And I just, wow. Thank you. It's, just, it's worthy we work. Thank it's you. turning the tide. It's, it, it really, really is. Oh boy. It's, it's that, 
it's laborious, but man, you are really lifting the the carpet up. They can't. They swept it under the rug, but but we're just sweeping it back out. <laughs> we got that Swiffer. So, uh, would you guys? Do you guys think we can share that clip, um, the other big clip of yeah. the where they're um, down, where uh, Robert Down plays the women's uh, yeah, being in that absolutely. department, running that department. Uh, yeah. Okay, just give me a second. I gotta find that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy the discussion and we will catch you next time. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, let's see if we can get the message out to as many people as possible. Bye for now.